Welcome back to Settle Your Bet. I'm Jack Settleman, and for week 15, we're headed to the stock market for some stock tips. Then we will go to the courtroom to settle a snowy battle. And finally, my best bet for week 15. Let's make some money. That's everyone's favorite sound. It's time to head to the NFL stock market. This week for our buys and sells, these are more stock tips, not necessarily stock buys. They all have precedence, which means that they could have better odds next week, so it's just something to keep an eye on. To begin, I want the Bucks to win the NFC South, but the Bucks play the Cincinnati Bengals and the Panthers are favorites against the Pittsburgh Steelers. These two could be knotted up heading into the final few weeks of the season. The Bucks are at minus 280, and I have no doubt they're going to win the division, but next week they might be minus 150, which might be an even better opportunity. But at the end of the day, who are you riding with? Is it Tom Brady or Sam Darnold? Don't kid yourself. The Bucks are going to win this division. I'm not saying they're making a playoff run. I'm not saying you're getting prime Tom Brady, but I am telling you the Bucks will be hoisting the banner as NFC South champions. The same goes to say about the San Francisco 49ers. We took them earlier this season at 22 to one to win the big game. They're now down to plus 900. So am I selling the Niners? No, not at this particular moment. They face a tough moment on the road on Thursday night football against the Seahawks. But Brock Purdy is the new starting quarterback. But Brock looks pretty good. but he has only played from ahead. He is the lowest A dot in the league, meaning he throws the ball the shortest amount of distance out of every quarterback through his two starts. Now getting the ball in the playmaker's hands is a good idea, but what happens when defenses shut that down? Force him to throw deep. Remember, he was this year's draft class's last pick. He's Mr. Irrelevant. It's just not someone I want my money in the hands of as we go deeper into the postseason. So don't sell quite yet, but keep an eye on our future that we got at 22 to 1. It's time to settle a bet. We head to the courtroom for one of the most pivotal games of the season. The Miami Dolphins are seven and a half point underdogs against the AFC number one, Buffalo Bills. Last week, the Jets were in a similar spot and they managed to cover this number. The NFL is all about adjustments, and what we've seen is press coverage is disrupting Miami's dynamic offense. They've done it the past two weeks and it's worked extremely well. But you don't think Miami can adjust to that? I do. This is a low divisional total getting over a touchdown. It's an automatic spot to take the away team. That's why the bet is settled. Miami plus seven and a half. My best bet for NFL Week 15 is the Vikings minus four. I know, it's sad. My Vikings are clearly fraudulent. But that doesn't mean the Colts are all of a sudden world beaters. Just because they had a bye week last week, we're now all in on Matt Ryan and the boys. The Vikings have lost three games this season. It's to the Eagles, the Cowboys, and the Lions. Three fairly decent teams. The last time we saw Matt Ryan and the Colts on the field, we thought they'd be able to air it out and dominate a weak Steelers pass defense. They faltered at home as three-point favorites. This is another coaching mismatch between Jeff Saturday and potentially the coach of the year, Kevin O'Connell. Don't overthink this one. The Vikings laying four points is not too much in what should be a high-scoring matchup. My best bet for NFL Week 15 is the Vikings minus four. It's time to recap our best bets from week 15. We've got our eyes on some stocks right now for Tampa Bay and for the Niners. We settled a bet on Miami and our best bet is Minnesota. Thanks for watching Settle Your Bet. I'm Jack Settlement and I wanna hear what's your favorite bet of the week. We'll see you next week for number 16.